there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're checking out another game that's available on the PSN. This is one that we picked up as a PS freebie a fair amount of time ago, and I'm still working my way through the backlogs. Uh, so you can buy this now. Sadly, it's missed out on PS Plus. If you didn't get it the month that it was available, then you're going to have to pay for this game. And I don't know much about it other than the fact that it's Spy Comedian RGB Agent, whenever you look at it for PCs and anything else. Of course, here it's just Spy Comedian. So I'm hoping for stealthy, action me, fun times where you change yourself in colors to hide in the walls and that kind of stuff. So let's check it out and find out what is, in fact, Spy Comedian. Um, I'm assuming he's a derpy agent of some agency. That's being attacked by robots. You know, it's one of those things where you start reading title screen, you're going like, I'm pretty sure I can guess the plot of this. Like Robocod. You look at Robocod, you know it's a robot and it was a cod and they bash it together. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Ah, that's pretty clever. Uh-oh. You have to actually hide against walls, hide against colors to keep yourself safe. I've got this. So it reminds me actually of like, um, a way to get to know how this spy works. Let's just go over and take a look at the object. So, like, as always, whenever I see minion mode, that's weird. It's like a menu screen where it's actually just you controlling a fly and looking at the controls. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm not even gonna question it, but. Uh... Right. Bike made it. Obviously, uh, it looks like it's been transferred from a mobile game. Like, all these, all these menus just make you think of mobile games, really, rather than actually uh, full price titles. So, let's see. Let's see what we've got. Uh, I'm not going to prejudge it because it looks reasonably well made so far. Go to room 15, take a photo of the celebrity Jenny Hen with her lover. Yeah. I'm assuming that you actually have to work your way through to room 15. Sauce for that first level. So uh, you have to actually be able to uh, do the right things. Okay. Boom. Grand. Avoid the cones. 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 Avoid. I imagine this probably would have been a lot worse if I wanted to cut the screen. Other than now, it doesn't seem to be done. Yes, it doesn't seem to be done. There is a gap. I don't know where my gap was going to be for being hit three. Perfect score! Go for the higher speed! Seriously? I was like, it's not even the fact that I actually do proper blend it's like, I'm kind of the same color as the object. Alright, fair enough. Dee dee dee. See, for things where it's actually going to be like one color on the map, how does that actually shoot? Like, I mean, I can stand here now and just chill the hell out. Grand. Here we go. Level complete. <laughs> Alright, I mean, essentially, I imagine the game obviously increases in difficulty as we go along, but I'm not exactly panicking about the level design so far. Um, well enough made, simple enough uh, for my eyes. It's just get from where do you need, where you start to where you need to be, avoid setting off alarms. I've seen the mechanic in so many games. That's where you simple top down. Look, uh, I, that's why. That's where I imagine it actually being like uh, almost as a two dollar game. The problem is, whenever you see games like this on the PlayStation Network, they invariably cost about six seven pounds, and that's that's not cool. That's a. I'm sure there's an automatic premium expected of being on console, but I would never pay for this on anything. Ugh. I don't even care. I don't care about unlocking all the flies. I just want to go and see if there actually is a cutscene after I get to level 15. But the, um... Well, there's a checkpoint. Boom. Uh, I'm hoping there's a cutscene after I get to that point where, um... It's like... 15th floor, 15th room, or whatever it is they're saying. Eep. Jesus! A 
little bit of a flaw in its actual tracking pattern. <laughs> I see literally stand right next to it. So yeah, I, I'm all, I'm not other than the fact that I'm the only person on my friend list that actually played this game. It's ter mildly terrifying. <laughs> Do this, we're doing this to 15. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet it's probably going to put me over my normal, slightly over my normal length for this game, these kind of games. But I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna know, I wanna know if there's a cutscene. Go. Are you serious? When the alarm thing is actually in Japanese. All right, all right, all right, dog. Tell me. You tell me. I'm pretty sure I was actually okay and safe there, but no. Last level of each mission. Oh god. Cameras hide or you'll be detected. Okay. Oh, so you have to wait so that there's a direct goal on you that actually builds up over time. Great. So that was number 10. No, I don't want to look at my profile. So that. There we go, that was the mission completed, 10. Uh, that is done. Oh, are you fucking serious? Pick up all the fight. Yeah, do you know what? Fuck off. Fuck right off. No, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I think it's just, I, I, was, I was willing out of curiosity to check this out. But, um, yeah, you, you've seen what the gameplay's like. Uh, it's simple enough. Puzzle, map room, you have to use a series of four button colors on your pad to actually be able to get around it. A series of traps are either tracking you, or moving on a certain step path, or looking across places that you can actually hide behind. You've pretty much seen what the mechanics of the game are going to be for whatever length of chapters this game is in. Like, that was 5%, 10 levels of 5%, uh, 20 levels of 10, so 20 by 5, which had 100 levels in Spy Community. That's what that, that, that that's what essentially says the percentages, and I'm assuming that's actually per level. That there's that many levels in it. It could be justified that you get more percentage by actually getting all the flies in each of the levels. That's only close to 25 to 30, or even up to 50. Chip, yeah, uh, that was quite brilliant. I don't know if nothing else to say about this game. Um, fair enough, that it was on PS Plus for free, but I could possibly recommend that for purchase on PS4 or PS Vita or PSP. Maybe if it's in your actual app store and you feel like a pass through the time. Couple of move puzzles, but I can imagine this being unbelievably awkward on a touch screen because you'd be covering over like even the paths that you're meant to be traveling along. So, I don't know. Minion, RGB in. Woo! Exciting. So, yeah, guys, if you actually enjoyed me talking about this game and actually checked out the gameplay footage and then actually you know, want to tell me what you think about it, if you think it's garbage or if it's actually really interesting, then make sure to actually hit the subscribe button up there in the corner. If you don't do the subscribe thing, completely understand it's okay. All you have to do, memorize this name. Just remember, remember past t skin. That's all you have to do. Just search for it every once in a while. See if I'm about. Check out some of the videos. That'd be really well appreciated. And uh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, you want to be able to And there'll be a button up here. There'll be a playlist right there. Over in the far side will be a most recent video. And right here will be a video for you. Based on the user analytics and things you do on YouTube, it'll pick a video out of the stuff that I make. And this one will send the kidding thing. You should check out. If you've already seen this one, then click this one. It should actually show you one at the end of that as well. And keep on doing that. Keep going through the chain. Go for a wiki walk. Watch my video. See what's in there. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you do in the next video. Bye.